in all my times of watching Luigi. And I've been watching a lot of Luigi. Okay? A lot. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. I mean, this guy, he, he's crazy. He's crazy good. And Best S is playing not Ness. Not his best that. character. <laughs> I do like but, how as soon as we see Best Ness come out, man, we got the chat voting Kirash 60-40 here against Best Ness. We'll see, man. He got here in the top eight, so we definitely don't want to put it past him. And his goal is to win this tournament. He's not happy just getting top eight losers right now. He, he wants he wants number one. He wants this whole thing. Yeah, right now, though, looking... You know, Best Ness actually is very experienced at this matchup. Not gonna lie. Like, not... Like, I don't know how much, like, this specific matchup, but I mean, like, he's very experienced at fighting Luigi. Like, he has a very good grasp on Luigi's weaknesses and game plan most of the time. Nice. Karana Plan does have a pretty solid recovery. I wouldn't say it's that great, but it's not bad. It's pretty solid. Just because he's able to just pretty much propeller himself up from lower distances. Well, I do like how not even Bestness just that, doing... but just look at what Bestness is doing off stage. Like, he yeah. has the, the neutral B, he has... I don't know what is that down B? His extended neck move. <laughs> I don't even know what to call that. He just has a lot of ways to force you in shield uh, while you're like on stage, so you can't just jump off and try to hit him a lot of times. Yeah. Unless you have a counter. But Luigi don't got that. Either way, this is a uh, man very close. I do know though his hurt box is actually is completely vulnerable when he does that move. So when he throws that out, you can just throw out a move and just hit him yeah a lot of people the, don't do it though the, the long neck the long neck reach is basically called long stem by the way uh, -oh. uh Kier, Kier Ash, though here with the back air gets the stock lead like you said it's Ness's, uh, best Ness's ability to just stall at the ledge and use poison because it does punish you for going off stage but also gets you narrowly some percent here and that does allow best Ness to kind of like make you pick and choose should i rather just hold on the stage or go out there in either way that allows best Ness sometimes to come back on the stage narrowly oh. missing the neutral air yeah, he needs he needed that neutral there. Oh, nice mix up on the recovery. Very smart. He didn't want to re grab ledge twice, but uh, yeah, he he wants that neutral neutral air with piranha plant to hit Luigi out of his uh green missile with no jump. Yeah. Just because he shouldn't be able to come back <laughs> no matter what percent he hits him at. Yeah. If he can we, get that to work. We talked about this with mind here. You have. Bestness, like you said, he has to be pretty good in the matchup, but he also has to respect. If my combo is not a true combo at this percent, you have to be careful because Luigi can reversal you for it. And we saw Kia Rash definitely demonstrate that with Tornado. Nice. Sets up the neutral jab there just because he's looking to just cover the getup or the roll. Especially with how many active frames that has. And the poison to definitely cause a little bit of pressure if he tries to jump. Look at that patience from Bestness. Oh, oh. the tech chase wasn't there though. Close, close, close. Yeah, definitely called that roll in, but just wasn't positioned well. Down throw? Ooh, Ooh nice. Didn't I kill, but living, yeah. yeah. I still like that Kirash knew to go for that uh, DI mix up with the back air instead of like yeah. a cyclone or a up. And the long stem stall and good opportunity to go for the get up attack. You see Kirash has turned his back to him. Never want to turn your back on your opponent here. Long stem again. Look at the oh, shield that's pressure. Shield, though. Nice. Oh, the great match? Mm. Dash attack kills, though. Yep. Yeah, good, good catch for Kirash. Oh, he's looking for that grab. Ooh, doesn't need it though, man. Huge combo. Ah, oh, no down smash poke through. Gets, a, gets an extra goes for Fatui. This forces the low recovery, but unfortunately, he's not able to neutral air drag him down. Once again, put the Fatui stall here. Nice. nice. And using the side hitbox from the recovery. Oh, the cyclone again, going through the dash attack from Piranha Plant. I wonder if he's looking for the up throw kill at this point, but doesn't need it. Okay. 87 is still kind of scary. It's a drag down neutral. Oh. Confirming the dash like He's got the poison. Looking for the damage. I like that wow. pressure here. He forces Kira Wow, so roll. much percent. He brought it up. Brought it even already. And that's Oh! Good. Very close. But Watch doesn't yourself. find it. Yeah, no panic. Oh, no panic. wow. No panic. No panic from Bethany. He still got the re-grab, though. Yeah. Good DI. Nah, he DI'd, yeah, he DI'd appropriately. 131 here. Stalling again at the ledge. Looking to use that poison to slip through. Plant mains usually use that poison so they can charge Swong Stem. Oh, good nice. Good on Kia Raj to stop him from recovering. Look at the commitment. He had to go through platform. I think best, that's his ch best chance was to probably just land on the stage. Seeing us at Kia Raj was just waiting for him to go for an aerial. 
Honestly, Kirash wasn't doing anti or up smash a single time at all. Yeah. So, like, he just saved it for a perfect moment. I just think Vesnas didn't even remember that was an option for him to worry about. Yeah, but it's also true to consider definitely Kirash held his cards close to his chest. Definitely not revealing, like you said, right, the up smash, the anti air, things like that. Going to be game two here in Loser's Top 8. Okay. Man, that was still a very close game. Uh, Vesna's definitely showing that he has potential to win with his Piranha Plant. But let's see see what happens here. Kirash hasn't gotten that taunt kill to work yet, but I always appreciate him going for it. <laughs> it is guaranteed kill. Like, it's just guaranteed spikes. <laughs> yeah. What a good oh. catch. Yeah. He's been using poison a lot to force Kirash to go for rolls, and if he doesn't go for a roll, you take in a lot of percent from poison. It's kind of like a, for no no pun intended, it's a pick your own poison. Do you want to take a lot of damage from it, or do oh, you want to get nice. caught by the roll? And there's a really great back air coming out from Bestness as he gets a stock lead here in game two. Yeah, Piranha Plant's very similar to D in some senses, just because he's a very, very, very good ledge trapping character. Yeah. If anything, he's like Dio. I don't want to say DLC DD, but like he has <laughs> all of DD's ledge trapping tools and then some. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you could call it good DLC DD almost. Almost. Uh, out of the way, Best is putting in work with this character. You guys already know in Japan, one of the best product plant mains is Brood. Definitely a Best Nest looking to put his name up there as one of the best plant mains. Missing the drag down neutral here. Goes for long stem because you do get armor oh. when you go for it, as long as it's inside the pot. Yeah. Holding on at the ledge. I like that. He goes for the, the Piranha Copter just because we've seen him drag down Luigi trying to go for recoveries. Does he get the right DI? Ooh, yes. but Kiarash reads it here with the back air. 84% on the name, though. Best Nest with still a lead. All right, Best Nest trying to play around the low percent grab. Like, that's why he's hanging on these platforms. Kiarash, though, recognizing that he's still able to build up so much percent even outside of the grab. Also, I really like how Kirash has been playing around the Batui, too. Yeah. There's like very few times I've seen him actually get hit by that move. Uh, dash attack, barely a cross up, holds the shield. I like it too, and he is not gonna go for anything else, gets the grab here. Good mash off from Best Nest. Looking to use oh. the poison to cover himself up, too, as he puts things close enough between him and Kirash. So forward wow, there, nice. Piranha Cup is gonna reach, though. Yeah. Oh, he got sent on stage though. The parry? Not enough. I thought parry LB or something like that was coming. Wow. Like here, Ash, man, he's very aware a lot of times, but wow, what a play to get around the Cyclone. Oh, he drifted to avoid the Nair. That was such a good recovery. Oh, nice. got caught sleeping yeah. on the Pitui. I think he might have just not seen it because of the poison breath yeah that's, that's like such a broken thing like you, it blocks prominence body so you can't even see him using that move a lot of times yeah. or it's, even it's, like it's a mix-up because you can either go for long stem or patui and you kind of have to guess which one they might go for yeah and then if you're in the middle of the poison you're taking a lot of percent here yeah right now though best is looking pretty good Dash attack to capture landing here. Best Nest once again with the Batui. Forces the roll. That's oh. a lot of shield damage, too. Nice. That forces Kiarash to go back off the ledge. There's a roll oh. in. And finally, the grab. This could be big. It's a full wow. 57 for it. That was nice. Still uh, going Best here. Nest, Best Nest in trouble. Yeah, he chose to land towards center stage, and that's what Kiarash was able to punish. But he oh. finally gets the back air. Wow. Seeing that Kia Rash was going to be in the air for his own best nest with the aerial cross up there and putting it 1 1 apiece and sleep on one of the best players in the world. That was great. He just uh, caught him swinging first, jumped right over him, stuck in the back air. And Prophet's back air is like, it has a little bit of startup. It has like not a, a very good like landing lag. So if you throw out that move, like you better hit with it. Yeah. And for the chat predictions here, man, this is pretty much the closest prediction I've seen in a minute here. 
Uh, 48% of the chat did vote for best mess to take the site here with Kirash. 52%. It's pretty close, man. One of the closest ones I've seen. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think a lot of people recognize how good both these players are. But at the same time, like, man, don't see it top level piranha playing very often so that's true a lot of people brood is like one of the really few players i know from japan yeah there's Yo, recently a really good piranha plant uh that won some online tournaments in japan too like last week or something like that but uh yeah there's a i don't know this character's kind of finding some, some more play lately yeah it's definitely it's one of the characters. Pretty good, I'll say. Yeah, it's one of the characters we wrote off in the beginning of the meta, where it was like, okay, cool, it's just gonna be Joker. But then slowly, like as Plant got some buffs, people started to realize like this character is actually pretty ridiculous. But Tui does a lot of damage, and Poison is definitely one of like literally Bowser's flamethrower, but more. And, and like you meant, like we saw earlier strides, it allows Plant to hide within the poison and then mix you up with a potentially a 50-50 of either Long Stem or Patui itself. Yeah. Or is this forward smash is too old? Never mind. <laughs> That's such a good read too because like I said, it puts pressure on Kirash. Do I, I literally have to pick my own poison. Do I want to take all this percent, all this shield damage, or do I go for a roll? In which that case, Bestness called that out with a forward smash. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, if you hit, if you hit plant while he's still charging Patui, if it's in the air, it'll still fall down as long as plant has not inhaled the back end. Barely having the running threshold speed to get away from dash attack. I think Piranha Plant's dash animation is hilarious, by the way. Yeah, little His little, little plant feet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's a the pivot grab. No back air. Good on Best Nest to watch out of his GI here because Kiarash called it up the last time. Here, poison it again for the setup. Taking some little bit of percent oh. of great spaced back air from Best Nest. Seeing Going the roll here. And there's there it is, finally. Call out. Yep. Kiarash. Finally. Back to the depths. Yeah, he saw the air dodge in from Kiarash and he's like, all right, I knew, I know exactly when I should time this Nair to get this edge guard. Great stuff. That just shows he has a lot of experience fighting this character, even mm -hmm. if he's using Piranha Plant. I would imagine so. Uh, pretty much uh, Spencer and Matt have played a lot before whenever I've seen them come here. I know Matt's been yeah, to a few times. Best, best Ness and Elegant. Sorry, I, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, uh, down. <laughs> I'm used to, I'm used, I'm used to saying their names, especially Elegant. Um, yeah, very good. I do like how he's mixing his recovery with Batui. Oh, bad air no. dodge, though. Yeah, you hate to see it. <laughs> yeah, anytime Best Ness gets space on the stage, he's charging the poison breath. It's good, too. Oh, look, look, look at the pressure. Look, see, Kirash has to back off. This gives Best Ness time to come back to center stage and try to establish control. It's a lot of option selects that it definitely presents against his opponent here. There's a quick up tilt. Look at Kirash on the patience, though. He's looking to see if he might go for a directional air dodge so can punch him for it. Oh, Bestness such has to watch the pressure landing, right now. Yeah. His dash attack off the stage. Plant Copter, once again, using Patui to stall out. Trying to catch him with the Piranha Copter. Nice. Yeah, he gets immediately shield when he touches the platform with that, so very good recovery from Bestness. He doesn't want to get ledge trapped by Luigi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's looking to stall. Look, he doesn't commit to a roll. He knows Kirash is patient for that roll. Sneaks in with a full aerial cross up on this back air. Stage control, Patui, the oh. Cyclone to call it nice. out. Yeah, armor. Cyclone's so good. Oh, caught the roll with the empty hop. Mm -hmm. Oh, bad dash attack, but... No punish, it missed! Oh, no up smash, missed! Down smash, pretty safe. Nice, look at that patience from Best Nest. No roll, nothing, oh. but Kirash with the war back air. Sensing he ran no... through everything. Yeah, that wow. was good too, because at that situation, Kirash understood. He's either going to go for a Patui charge or a long stem. If he goes for it, it might be Patui charge or long stem. And no matter what, it's a trade that's worth risking for, especially with how much stage control Best Nest had lost and that he was by the ledge. And if it was Patui, the yeah, worst thing that it would have Yeah, been? you guys saw that, right? Yeah. Like, Luigi actually was 
invisible too when he ran through the poison cloud. So he like, yeah. he, I don't even think he saw him turn around when he did the raw. Like, I think he just saw Luigi dash through the poison, and then by the time he realized what happened, he already got back in the yeah. face. Yeah, I was like, it has to be a raw backer. And if you think about it too, if it was gonna be the trade against Patui. In that situation, it was going to be a good trade in Kiarashi's favor because he was going to take damage from the ball itself, but he still would have gotten the back air. And in the situation of where Bassness was, it's still good to go for. Honestly, it was really good. Wait, what? Oh, beast. Someone needs to. Tell him to request a loan oh. on Smash GG. Yeah. I'm pretty sure our mods are still working um, the tournament right now. So, all right, well, Kirash here two one anyway. up against Bestness gets the neutral air and the dash attack. Bestness once again with the poison and the jab, no opportunities. I like that he gets off the stage. Doesn't want to get caught by that grab. Full charge on the poison, looking for center stage. Poison grab. Oh no! Oh. This time it's Kirash <laughs> on the grab instead. Never mind. No, Kirash is using the poison against Vestness, actually. He just grabbed him while he was completely invisible from the poison. Yeah, calls out the neutral getup. And that's why it's good to go for a neutral neutral jab, just because it's like, oh, all right, cool. It's it's fast, low cooldown, and it causes, it causes jabs. I think Falcon has the very same thing way back in Smash 4. But Bestness with stage control, just narrowly letting it go for a neutral air. Still able to recover here with the Batui stall. Oh, really yeah. missed, but nice trade for Bestness. Kind of kind of tough, too, because Kirash was, might have gone for Cyclone, but we've been seeing Kirash kind of hold Cyclone closer to his chest and he's using it as an option Ooh. to break through Batui, but he is going to catch Bestness on the landing here with the up special and the stock. Yeah, very unsafe in there for bestness. But a good awareness for Kiyarash to recognize that that's an easy up BS shield. Yeah, look at that full cross up. No back air though. Stalling with Patui, gets the grab. Let's let trapping phase here. No grab, no Patui, no long stem. Bestness might have to slowly mix things up here. Kiyarash has caught up to that game plan just a little bit. Now he really wants that two frame taunt kill. <laughs> Ah oh, man, you know you know the chat loves that two frame tongue kill. He's looking for the clippable moments, man. He wants that Kiarash making Luigi look godlike video. Probably already has one, I don't know. Oh he has Bestness. to have one. Using the poison here. Anyway. To come see now he's changed it. Look at the way Bestness has changed his game plan. He's not moving into poison, he's looking to see how Kiarash is gonna react around it instead. Adaptation from Bestness, looking for the cross of back air yet again, sneaking his way through center stage. Held shield a little bit too long. Mm, not the oh, box. that's a big drop. And that's a not, big push. Oh, just enough to kill at 95. Wow. Up smash is ridiculously slight from plan. Yeah, but the slight charge is what made that kill. Yeah. Yeah, plan smash really is ridiculously this. strong. Oh. Decent combo. Wow. Yeah, Finishing damage. it off with the Patrui. Still going? Yeah. Nice. He's yeah. a jump, but Kirash with another up B out of shield, man. I think Kiarash has adapted to a lot of Bestness crosses too. That's what that's how Bestness has kind of been moving around the stage. He goes with back air because he knows Kiarash is holding shield. It's spaced, but he still gets center stage, and that's still a worthy trade. Poison again. Look at the reaction from Bestness. Adaptation from the. Oh. Once again, here's the poison. Patui catches the neutral nice. getup. Yeah, we've been seeing that from Jab. Oh. Got worried he put himself off stage, but yeah, this is a huge lead for Bestness. Yeah, this is good too. He sets up a two for Kiyosh on the low recovery. That's an up wow. and that's the stop. Wow. The he didn't give him time to go for a pummel or a DI. He just said, let's go for the up throw because I don't even want you to try to get out of this. Bestness oh, putting up game five on the board. Yeah, Bestness's ledge trapping is definitely very, very good with this character. Like, definitely up there with some of the best Piranha Plants we've seen. Yeah. And look at the adaptation, too. He said, you know what, Kirash? If you want to use my poison, that's fine. I'm going to wait for you. Because if you want to try to get in and punish me for it, I can wait. You have to literally respect it as much as I do when you go into it. 
game five here. But the last between these two, man, only one gets to climb up further against top eight. We'll see who does it. One of Utah's finest against one of Silkow's youngest. Let's see, let's see how this match goes. Vestas was able to heavily like, abuse the poison breath of the ledge. Just force a lot of options out from uh, Kiarash. Poison, cross up again. Wow. All the active frames from Nutrinary, not enough there for Kirash to get the parry. You saw how he used the Cyclone close to his chest, man? This time we talked about it. He burns it only so he can get through things like Fatui. Excellent forward tilt, punishes the down, the cross up on the dash attack. Punishes the aerial hero using poison. This is best Ness's trap game. So close to that back air. That would have been the stock. It's so powerful. A lot of knockback. Oh yeah, even like I'm seeing how Bestness uses these platforms. It's like it's very similar to how he uses PK Fire with Ness. Like using the angle of the platform to just shoot the Patui very safely. Yeah. Oh, barely sneaks in there with the Cyclone. Oh! oh I didn't even know that was possible. I, we have I to, didn't even know that was possible. You have to give him. I've some never seen that before. Yeah, you have to give Bestness respect too. He didn't want to commit to roll because he knows you have enough. Luigi has enough time to react to that. So I literally at this point, Bestness just kind of had to wait to see what the other option was going to be. And unfortunately, right. that down tilt just poked through here. Bestness off to a rough start here already in game five. Kierash 140, no stock taken from yet. Best Ness at 78. Kierash is definitely turning me extra kind of homework. Nice, using these double jumps yeah. to kind of get through a little bit here. Mixing things up in the neutral. Fatui? Oh no, oh, he wanted, yeah. Icon. Yeah, and Kierash burns. I think that's what Best Ness has to adjust himself a little bit more, is because you can see that Kierash only uses right. Cyclone to burn through. Patui and get around here, and there's the misfire, but that's not gonna make oh. the mark. That might have uh, made Kiras die there, unfortunately for him. But he still does have a huge lead. And yeah, Parapla has to definitely do a lot to make this up, if, especially if he's not getting the poison breath to work out. And there's the parry. Yeah, Best as keeps falling on top of Kiras a lot of times with these aerials. And uh, yeah, Kiras is seeing it coming a lot of times. Yeah, Bestness has a huge hill to climb here. But you know what? The way that Bestness has been doing with these edge guards, if he gets these edge guards at least two times, you know that he can bring things back here. He sees the cross up. There's the forward tilt. Cross up of his own. No punish here from Kirash. Bestness has got to watch himself on the landing. There's an up tilt. Neutral air. I said it. If Bestness can bring these these edge guards to his favor here, he can definitely bring things back. Looking to see how Kirash is going to react. Double back air. Oh, that was, he was gonna... barely missing. And I liked it too because he thought... Kirash might have gone for an aerial. We saw that too, but he only did it after the grab. It's a poison, a Patui. Look at that. Bestness fighting for center stage. Double jump mix up. For a way to break through. Bestness staying calm. Kirash on the defensive here. Yes. Ooh, no sweet spot on the back there, but still a huge, huge control mm. from Kirash. And there's the ender. With that big up smash to catch the landing again, Kirash through sending Bestness out of this tournament. Unfortunately for Bestness, Prana Plant just wasn't able to clutch it, even though he brought it to that game five.